What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to fix a problem in Azure Gosa Evo for my Moza R5 build. I'm pretty sure this is common to other Moza bases as well but I never had this problem with my old Logitech build. Anyway, this video is a bit old but when you're going through the driver's academy you can still see this issue in all the three tracks so let's take Brands Hatch as an example and as per the title of this video, you might see some violent vibrations in your motor steering wheel in some corners. But the problem is, this is not consistent. Sometimes you don't get any vibrations at all, sometimes it's moderate and as you can see in here, it's pretty bad. Let's watch that again. As you can see, my wheel cam and my in-game steering wheel is shaking so badly, you have to hold it for dear life, else the car goes haywire. This is just one example and if you have been playing this game for some time with this wheel, I think this is pretty common to you. So let's see how to fix this. So all you have to do is go to settings, controls and select R5 base and then you can select on steering and go to settings. In that there is a setting called FFP gain, as you can see it's at high 80s at the moment so reduce it to like low 60s and apply the changes and if this doesn't work uh, you could still reduce it to like low 50s i wouldn't recommend you to go below than that and if it still doesn't work you can play around with this vibration toggle until it works so that's how you fix it and that's one way what's the other way to fix this the other way you have to open Moza Pithouse software. Once the software is open it will ask you to update it's uh, totally your choice. Uh, I prefer my current settings at the moment so I'm not upgrading but if you want to upgrade and if it's something doesn't work you could still downgrade it. Pithouse supports that so don't worry about it. And uh, let's go back to the topic so you have to select your base and click on the force feedback toggle and you can reduce it and apply the settings but the problem is this would affect all your games so just keep that in your mind like if you play like ACC or some other games the wheel would be a bit loose so I would still prefer the first method so that's how you fix the issue and hope this will be helpful and if you have any questions please uh, let me know in the comments and the game is still uh, early release so enjoy it and it's gonna be fun so i'll see you in the next one and that's it have a good one